ready for a cookie room tour? I sure hope you are because that's what we're doing today. So here's a quick pan over. This is the cookie room. So when you first walk into the room, you see my beautiful rug from All Modern. And then you see my art cart is from Ikea and filled with all the things I may need while decorating. I'll roll it into the kitchen when I need it and then roll it back in here when it needs to be stationed. So it's basically just like ready to go. These are all my Americolor gels. I have my most used colors in these bigger bottles. And then when they're running empty, I flip them upside down so I know what to reorder. Handy dandy tools, diamond dust, and then down here we have my painting supply. So in here is a bunch of brushes. These are painting palettes. We have piping tips. And then those are all airbrush colors. Bottom shelf is kind of a catch-all. It has piping bags. It has some spatulas, more piping tips, random wires and not a cookie. And then all of my pencils, tools, highlighters, Sharpies, all of that stuff. This has been like the most essential thing I've ever put together. I don't know why it took me till now to put this together. Before, all of this lived in a drawer. These used to live in a cabinet in my kitchen back in LA. So it was kind of all over the place. So it's really nice to have it all succinct and in one place now. So then I have this white organizer with a bunch of drawers. My dehydrator sits on top. This dehydrator is linked on my website. It's a Gourmia. It has the nine trays. There is one that has six trays. The top drawer is my junk drawer. Second drawer, so many piping bags. This is my sprinkle collection. Then these are all of my cellophane bags. I do have more stored elsewhere, but these are like my grab and go. So these are sorted based on their size. I have like four by sixes all grouped together, the smaller ones grouped together, all that kind of stuff. Then this is my airbrushing and stenciling drawer. My stencils are not organized. Do not judge me. <laughs> they are sitting in a Ziploc bag and then I have a bunch of other stencils. And then this is my airbrush machine. I have one from Sugar Art. And then this is a cordless airbrush machine. I actually have these linked on my website too. These are icing scraping tools and I use those for stenciling too. This is my stencil snap. So basically anything I might need for stenciling and airbrushing is in this drawer. And then down here is all of my fondant, isomalt, and I have my modeling chocolate as well. So there's a lot going on in this drawer. Actually wafer paper stamps, or technically paper stamps, but you can use them for wafer paper. I learned that from Sugar Dane, my collection of molds. So these are from various shops. There's um, Elsa molds, um, Liz from Inspired to Taste sells some, and so does Lisa from Borderlands Bakery. So you guys wanna check them out for the molds. Otherwise you can get some on Amazon. But some of my favorites are these snowflakes. I got these from Elsa and some extra fondant and basically just some fun extra mediums to work with down in this drawer. Next we have the cute wall. So this was inspired by Demi Cookie Co. Shaylon has a cookie wall just like this and it's so cute. So now that I have wall space, that was one of the first things I got and I filled it with cookies that my friends have made me and then some of my favorite cookies I've ever made. Down here in this corner, we got some more cookies. I need to hang those up, but I don't have pins right now. And this is my speed rack. So whenever I'm doing like a ton of cookies at once, I'll use this and dry cookies on there. But for now, it just lives in that corner. So down here is my tech kit. Everything I need that is tech related is in there. We have my lovely photo collage wall from Social Print Studio. Look at it, Spookyville. And then we have my scribe organizer, the brush organizer that I'm using as a pen holder right now. And yeah, so that's basically the general setup of my desk in the drawers. So this is just all notebooks, sketchbooks, and task pads all in there. And in here, we have more art stuff that couldn't fit on the cart. 
is in here. So we had piping bag clips. This is a bunch of powders and dust from the Sugar Art. We have my dust pumps with all of the diamond dust glitter. And these are all of my edible pens. And that is a fondant dust cup. Those are mine and Spencer's turntables. Oops. To keep it very simple and clean and functional. So now we're moving over here. This is a sad story. Ikea, still waiting on them to fix this for me, but eventually there will be a corner desk. And here is filled with paper shred for boxing cookies. And then we have another desk. We have a bunch of office supplies. I have a collection of staplers. <laughs> All of my business cards and discount cards are in here stickers, envelopes, basically anything for shipping and office related supplies are in here. Now we have all of my inventory and cookie cutters. So this shelving unit is from Target. It's one of my most favorite purchases ever. So what we have going on is cookie cutters are at the top. And those are from Michael's. And then we're getting into the merch. So here is a toolkit. That holds all the supplies I need to make keychains and scribes. So you can see I have my tassels, keychain, more supplies. And then this is all of the notebooks that are gonna be released. And then we have scissors, scribes, scribes, scribes. Pens, more scribe supplies. And then this is just organizer to hold small things. These are little goodies that I throw into orders. And then these are stickers. We have grab and go envelopes. So those are just ready to go when I'm packing orders. We have tea towels in here. And then we have all of the wood organizers like the scribe holder and the brush holder, and the silicone lids. So we have tissue paper and tote bags. Whenever I pack a tote bag, I wrap it in tissue paper. So I have that available in there. Baking mats are in here. All of my silicone spatulas, the piping clips, and the sugar scrapers. Shelf, it's a lot. It took a lot to get it all organized and functional that I can like understand what I'm doing when I'm packing orders. But for the most part, I love it. Other random decor that I'm gonna be hanging up eventually. So in my closet is excess supplies. So all of that are just mailers. I have my holographic mailers, the eco mailers, the large size, and then eco mailers, smaller size. That whole box is filled with stuff I would use for cookie classes back in the day. And those are trays that I would use for cookie classes. So many. One day I'll tap into this box again. And then this box holds pre-packed Happy Mix grab bags and excess spatulas. And then more mailers. <laughs> excess supplies up here. Um, these are like cookie boxes. These are shopping bags. That is a cover for that thing. It's like a plastic sheet cover. Closet is eventually going to look like that. And then the last section of the cookie room is our little shipping station. So we have the packing tape, we have a scale. In that bin, I'll put like outgoing orders that need to be pulled and our printer. So I organized my cookie room in a very specific way. There's actually a total system to the room and there has to be a system to any room you're organizing, otherwise, it's not gonna be functional, which in turn does not mean it's organized. So how I set up the room is that I literally split it down the middle. This half over here is all decorating related. So this is all decorating, that's it. There's gonna be nothing related to making cookies merchandise on this side of the room. So it's just the art, creativity, all that kind of stuff. Don't have to like run from each side of the room. When I come in for a certain task, I'm able to accomplish it because there's a system and it blends over into all merchandise order fulfillment here. So this is all making cookies, merchandise, business related product. No cookie decorating supplies will be found here. Only thing you'll see on this side of the room that's cookie decorating related is obviously my cookie cutters. 
Having the room set up this way also makes it easy for me to find stuff. That is how the cookie room is split. We have business on this side, cookie decorating on this side. If you go to organize your space, make sure you think of the system and what you think you're gonna be doing in that space so that way you can organize it properly. That is the tour, that's it. That's the cookie room tour. I hope you guys liked that and got a good idea of how I function in this room. And with any space, you should always, always, always add some flair and personality. So obviously I have rainbows everywhere and I have my pictures. I think those two things, this room would not be complete without. So when you are shopping for your cookie room, make sure you're thinking of a rug or a cookie wall or some color. There's so much you can do in the room just to make it more you.